Hello! Welcome to Chrissy's Quick Tips. I'm Chrissy, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to evaluate free WordPress themes. And what that means is looking at the free themes and the free themes repository to figure out which is going to be the best one for you to install. And I've got several different factors that I want you to consider. So first of all, if you haven't already looked in the WordPress dashboard, that's what I'm in right now. I'm on the theme screen and the theme screen is going to show me which themes I've already got installed. And you can click on the add new button either up there at the top or down there at the bottom right. And that's going to take you into the free theme repository. And there you're going to get a bunch of screenshots of themes that you can install. By default, it's going to show you the most popular themes. Right now you can see there's 5,955 themes available. Uh, if you wanted to, you could look at the latest themes or you could look specifically at block themes. If you have a wordpress.org account, you're logged into it, you can see your favorites. And then you can also filter by features in here. But back to the most popular ones, that's what I wanna look at. The first thing I want you to consider is the screenshot that you see here. So you can see here, for example, Ocean WP. The screenshot that you see there may not be what you get when you install the theme. In order to see that, you're gonna to need to preview it. So I'm gonna click here where it says details and preview so I can get both of the both the information in the preview. And you can see here that what I get on the right side of the screen is not what I get over here on the left. It's very different. And this is because Ocean WP, you would need to install a starter template or do some configuration in order to get it to look like what's in the screenshot. So that's factor number one I want you to consider when you're evaluating them. It's not necessarily a bad thing that you have to do that. It's just, it is what it is. So something to consider. Another thing that I like to consider is the ratings of the theme. So you can see here, Ocean WP, it's got five stars, it's probably 4.9, and it's got 5,512 ratings. If I click on this link, that's gonna take me to the Ocean WP theme ratings. And you can see it's again, 4.9 out of five and most of them are five-star ratings. So it's gonna give you some details. You can click on them and see some, some details and some responses there. So that's, that's pretty good ratings there. But it doesn't really give you much more information than that. So if I go back to the popular themes here, look at my details of Cadence, you can see I've got, I think this is the version I've got installed version because that's not the most recent version, but it doesn't really give you much more information there. So what I want you to do when you're evaluating your themes is go to wordpress.org slash themes. So wordpress.org slash themes. And that's gonna give you the WordPress theme repository. You can see it still gives you the popular, the latest. It also gives you commercial themes. So for example, Cadence is actually a commercial theme. It's free, it's available within the WordPress theme repository, but it's a freemium plugin. You can pay to upgrade to their pro edition and you'll get additional functionality with that, uh, access to additional starter templates and paid support, which means you're probably gonna get faster responses with that paid support. So if you click on commercial, you'll see there's a bunch of commercial themes that are, again, freemium themes. But if we go back to our popular themes, some of these are commercial. So for example, Hello Elementor, if I click on more info here, we can see this is a commercial theme. It's a free theme, but you get additional paid commercial upgrades or support. You can preview it. So I can click on preview. One of the things that I like about this preview that I didn't have in the other one is that I can preview at different breakpoints or different screen resolutions. So the default right now, I'm previewing it on desktop view and I can look at it on tablet view and on phone view. So I think that's gonna be very, very helpful. Let me close that. So the other thing that I get here is I can again see which version, which I could see in the previous screen, but I can also see when it was last updated, which to me is really, really important. I try not to use themes that haven't been updated in the last six months. So I, I wanna use themes that are updated regularly, that are well supported, that, that have been supported recently. So you can see this one was updated just a few weeks, well, just about two weeks ago, a little less than two weeks ago. And 
that means it, it's, it is supported. It, it's got active development behind it. So that's pretty important. I would not install a theme that hasn't been updated in at least the last six months with very few exceptions. So that's that's my recommendation. It also has over a million active installations. It's, it's probably one of the most widely used non-stock themes out there. It's, it's very widely used. So it's got a lot of, lot of active users. The other thing I want to show you is the WordPress version, the minimum version, and the minimum PHP version. So what this means for the WordPress version is that if you're using 6.0 or higher, it'll work. They're pretty sure it'll work. Uh, but if you're using something below 6.0, it may not work. So if you're using 5.4, 5.6, or whatever, this version of the theme or this theme may not work with that version of WordPress. So you need to make sure you have the minimum WordPress version installed. And you also need this minimum PHP version in, uh, installed on the server. Uh, a lot of hosting providers are, the, the, the lowest they'll support is like 7.2. So it shouldn't be a problem, but there are some hosting providers that'll support lower than that. Just be aware that Word, uh, PHP 7, 7.0, 7.2 are no longer getting software updates. So they may not be as secure. And uh, WordPress is actually moving to, I think the minimum requirement is going to be like 8.0 or 8.2 in the next release, which I think is 6.4. So just be aware that if you're using an older version of PHP on your hosting provider, you do need to upgrade at, eventually, probably sooner rather than later, but just something to be aware of. You can also get the details about the ratings. You can see this one's got 4.5 out of 4.5 out of five stars. And just like we saw with the Ocean WP, you can see the details of the ratings. Um, and another thing that I think is really important here is support. So if you go to the support form for the theme, it's going to show you if the if your questions are getting answered. So we can see here, uh, for example, this was posted two weeks ago, two weeks and three days ago. Uh, and it doesn't have a response. It may not need a response, but it doesn't have a response. Um, and so this one migrating from a custom theme to child theme, Hello Elementor, uh, was posted one week and two days ago. And did it get a response? It got a response. And you can see they, they responded with a link to the child theme. So they answered the question. So it's, it's a good idea, I think, to go and look at whether or not the questions are being answered. And you can see in some of these cases, they're not. So hello theme and WordPress default loop. Somebody asked this question and nobody responded to it. So that is that is something to keep in mind. There may be a reason that they didn't respond. It might be something that's answered elsewhere, but that is something to keep in mind. But I do want you to also keep in mind for this particular theme that it is a commercial theme. So it is free, but it offers additional paid commercial upgrades and support. So if you want to get a response for your question, you might need to go through, you might need to get the paid upgrade and then go through the, the paid uh, support to get that. So the other thing that you can see here is uh, you can report if there's any issues with the theme. Um, and then you can also look at the development log. You can subscribe to the development log. So if you want to, if, if it's a theme that you're installing and you want to see the latest updates about it, this is, this is a little bit technical, so you may not need to. Um, but the other thing is that you can also look at the subversion repository. Subversion is the, uh, the, the tool that they use to track changes and in the code. Uh, so again, a little bit technical, but you can see if you, if you need to see an older version of the code for the theme, you can go in there to look at that. So again, this is, this is what I would recommend doing. You don't have to go this in depth, but I do recommend it. So if you are thinking about using one of the free or freemium WordPress themes out there, I think this is going to give you more information that you might need. So I did talk about some of this in my podcast. So if you haven't already checked out the podcast, it's called Website Success with Chrissy Ray. Make sure you check that out and take a look at some of the other videos that I'll, that I'll have posted about themes. And if you have any questions, ask them in the comments. I will be happy to answer. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.